Perform these checks if you have no water or a poor water supply from your non-pumped reverse osmosis system. Connect the pressure gauge to the main supply tubing. You should record at least 30 psi pressure in order for the non-pumped reverse osmosis to work correctly. Next, close the self-tapping valve, remove the tubing from the first filter, hold the tubing over a container and open the valve slowly. You should have a good water flow. If you don't have a good water flow, then you need to remove the self-tapping valve and bore a 3mm hole in the plastic tubing using a drill. In some cases, the water pressure can cause the hole bored by the self-tapping valve to close over. If you intend to bore the tubing, remember to shut off your mains water. Next, check the pressure in the pressure vessel. You can use any standard car or bicycle pressure gauge. Your pressure should be 8 to 12 psi. If your pressure is low, then you can use a car or bicycle pump to increase the pressure. If your valve does not hold pressure and continues to lose pressure, the bladder inside the valve is damaged and you need to replace the pressure vessel.